Let's take a first look at the brand new Dynamics 365 Sales Copilot, which allows you to get updates on your accounts, summarize opportunities and get ready for sales meetings. So the first thing I'm testing here is how it works with opportunities. And you can see down the side, I like this experience. There's a little Copilot icon there next to the Teams chat icon. So that experience is sort of clicking on that icon and it pops out to the side is very good and very intuitive in line with the other things that we're doing here gives me a little welcome say hi to Copilot taking me through what it can do. Start off here by going into one of my opportunities. Now I am working with a demo system here with demo data. It's possible what I've got here isn't deep enough for it to really go far enough but let's see what it does. I've asked it to summarize and you'll see that I've got that summary point in there which is giving me the key summary of things that have happened. Now what happens here is that this is working on a set number of fields that are out of the box and here they are listed. This is an argument around, in general, using the out of the box opportunity table. I do see some organizations that will sort of configure their own opportunity, but this is tied to that out of the box opportunity table and it is tied to those out of the box fields. So you may or may not use all of those, but I would encourage you with this and going forward with these AI tools as they start to get plugged in, some of them we see that we're able to extend them into other parts of the application, but it is always a good idea to make as much use as you can of those core features. So with opportunity here, things like the estimated close date and the process stage that's in there are really key to giving you that summary. Let's have another go with an opportunity now that's got some more sophisticated data in it. This time I've put some more depth in. I've got an opportunity set up. I've used more of those out of the box fields around the current situation. I've even gone in and added a product in here because it can work with that as well. And so let's see if I can get a, a richer summary this time. So back into my copilot and let's give me a catch up on what's going on there. This is strange actually because I'm expecting it to give me a catch up on this opportunity but it seems to have switched into something else. Here are the top 20 opportunities. Now even though that isn't what I was looking for and it was a bit of an unexpected behavior, quite like that. That seems to be foreshadowing that we're going to get that feature of like catch me up on the top 20, like here are your top 20 opportunities as a way of being able to chat with the AI. So I'm going to keep an eye on where that's going because it's not in the documentation but I did see it come up a couple of times unexpectedly as I was <laughs> going along here. Let's try the generate summary here as well and uh, see what happens. So you'll see this is giving me a fair bit more depth because because there's more depth in the opportunity. It's recognizing this is a new customer, presumably because there are no closed one opportunities in there already. And it just seems to be summarizing the pieces that I put in there around the current state and so on, but it's done a reasonable job. Let's have a crack at this prepare for a meeting now, because I've got a meeting set up and again, yeah, getting an error. Unable to prepare for the meeting because there are no previous emails or notes associated with it. So what I'm going to do is, again, let's get another opportunity here that has more depth of data and see what happens. So we're starting to learn here what it's doing as it's preparing for that meeting. It is actually needing to find all of your notes and other things that are going on there as well. So this one, I've got a lot more going on. This one, I've got my upcoming meeting at 4.30 on the day that I was recording this. And then I have got some other things in there around notes and some tracked emails in there as well. So let's have a go at this prepare for the meeting now that I've got all of these things in here. It's recognize that I've got two upcoming meetings in the next 24 hours. It's this one that I want. And this one is now going to go through and have a look. This is looking more promising than the last one, which just gave me an error straight away at those tracked emails and notes and things. Here we go. Here's some points to consider for your upcoming meeting. We've got Sandra's inquiry, the list of requirements nicely summarized, what she's requiring, what she's inquired about, what I proposed. I think this is actually really good. I think this could be if we've got greater depth and I will keep playing with this of a history of notes. I've done this with really only one or two emails tracked and one appointment and one set of notes. So I think this could be something that would be much richer and I'm going to keep testing this one out. Let's take a look at this idea of being able to catch up on what's happening with an account. So Barhead Solutions, actually the company that I work for, is not a well-known brand name, but certainly we do have some stuff out there online. Here is some news related to us. Uh, those things are not related to us at all. I went into Bing search just to see if there was anything there. There are some relatively recent news items there, so it's not doing a great job of picking that up. 
let's give it a free kick here. I've put Microsoft in as my company. And yes, it's obviously done quite well with that. And now I've tried Telstra, which is one of the biggest companies, big telco here in Australia, and see whether it can do a better job with that. Yes, much better. So if you're working with really tiny businesses in your data, this feature is not going to be so big, big corporations somewhere up the, the chain, then that's going to be a, a much more useful feature. So all up, I think the opportunity summary will be good if you're using a lot of those out of the box pieces on the opportunity form. If you've got a lot of custom things going on in there, it's not going to be so good for you yet. The meeting summary part I'm the most impressed with because that's using your emails and notes and appointments and things. And I think most people are probably doing that, tracking that from Outlook, even if you're not using the other pieces on the opportunity just yet. The news, catch up with news on the account, mm, a little bit jury out on that one. But the thing I would recommend right now, this is very early preview. This is not ready for your production system yet, I don't think. But Viva Sales absolutely is. This is going to allow you to get summaries of your emails, view your CRM data directly in Outlook. This is a really sophisticated tool that's much further down the track. If you want to check out more about that, I've got a whole video on it here.